In functional analysis, a bounded linear operator is a linear transformation L between normed vector spaces X and Y for which the ratio of the norm of L v to that of V is bounded above by the same number, over all non-zero vectors V in X. In other words, there exists some M0 such that for all V in X L V Y M V X display style lv underscore y leq m v underscore x the smallest such m is called the operator norm lop display style l underscore mathrm op of l a bounded linear operator is generally not a bounded function as generally one can find a sequence vk display style v underscore k in x such that lvk y infinity display style lv underscore k underscore y right arrow inf t Instead, all that is required for the operator to be bounded is that L V Y V X M infinity, display style, frac, L V underscore Y V underscore X L E Q M. So, the operator L could only be a bounded function if it satisfied L v equals 0 for all V, as is easy to understand by considering that for a linear operator L A V equals a l v display style l av equals al v for all scalars a rather a bounded linear operator is a locally bounded function a linear operator between normed spaces is bounded if and only if it is continuous and by linearity if and only if it is continuous at zero Topic Examples Any linear operator between two finite dimensional norm spaces is bounded, and such an operator may be viewed as multiplication by some fixed matrix. On the sequence space COO of eventually zero sequences of real numbers, considered with the one norm, the linear operator to the real numbers which returns the sum of a sequence is bounded, with operator norm one. If the same space is considered with the infinity norm, the same operator is not bounded. Many integral transforms are bounded linear operators. For instance, if k a b times c d r display style k a b times c d to math b r is a continuous function then the operator l display style l defined on the space c a b display style c a b of continuous functions on a b display style a b endowed with the uniform norm and with values in the space C C D display style C C D with L display style L given by the formula L F Y equals A B K X Y F X D X display style L F Y equals int underscore a carrot B K X Y F X D X is bounded. This operator is in fact compact. The compact operators form an important class of bounded operators. The Laplace operator Delta H two R N L two R N Display style Delta H carrot two Math B R carrot N to L carrot two Math B R carrot N Its domain is a Sobolev space and it takes values in a space of square integrable functions is bounded, the shift operator on the L two space of all sequences x zero, x one, x two. 
of real numbers with x02 plus x12 plus x22 plus infinity, display style x underscore 0 carrot 2 plus x underscore 1 carrot 2 plus x underscore 2 carrot 2 plus c d o t s l x 0 x 1 x 2 equals 0 x 0 x 1 x 2 display style l x underscore 0 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots equals 0 x underscore 0 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots is bounded its operator norm is easily seen to be 1 topic equivalence of boundedness and continuity As stated in the introduction, a linear operator L between norm spaces X and Y is bounded if and only if it is a continuous linear operator. The proof is as follows. Suppose that L is bounded. Then, for all vectors V and H in X with H non-zero we have L V plus H minus L V equals L H M H Display style L V plus H L V equals L H L E Q M H letting H Display style math at H go to zero shows that L is continuous at V. Moreover, since the constant m does not depend on v, this shows that in fact L is uniformly continuous, and even Lipschitz continuous. Conversely, it follows from the continuity at the zero vector that there exists a delta greater than zero. Display style delta greater than zero, such that L h equals L H minus L zero one display style L H equals L H L zero L E Q one for all vectors H in X with H delta display style H L E Q delta. Thus, for all non-zero v display style v in x one has l v equals v delta l delta v v equals v delta l delta v v v delta one equals 1 delta v display style lv equals left vert v over delta l left delta v over v right right vert equals v over delta left vert l left delta v over v right right vert leq v over delta c dot 1 equals 1 over delta v this proves that l is bounded Topic: Linearity and boundedness. Not every linear operator between norm spaces is bounded. Let X be the space of all trigonometric polynomials defined on minus pi pi with the norm p equals minus pi pi p x d x display style p equals int underscore pi caret pi p x dx define the operator l x x which acts by taking the derivative so it maps a polynomial p to its derivative p then for v equals e i n x Display style v equals e caret i n x with n equals one two. We have v 
equals two pi display style v equals two pi while l v equals two pi n infinity display style l v equals two pi n to infinity as n infinity, so this operator is not bounded. It turns out that this is not a singular example, but rather part of a general rule. Any linear operator defined on a finite dimensional normed space is bounded. However, given any norm spaces x and y with x infinite dimensional and y not being the zero space, one can find a linear operator which is not continuous from x to y. That such a basic operator as the derivative and others is not bounded makes it harder to study. If, however, one defines carefully the domain and range of the derivative operator, one may show that it is a closed operator. Closed operators are more general than bounded operators but still, well behaved, in many ways. Further properties The condition for L to be bounded, namely that there exists some M such that for all V L V M V displaystyle L V L E Q M V is precisely the condition for L to be Lipschitz continuous at zero and hence everywhere, because L is linear. A common procedure for defining a bounded linear operator between two given Banach spaces is as follows. First, define a linear operator on a dense subset of its domain, such that it is locally bounded. Then, extend the operator by continuity to a continuous linear operator on the whole domain. Properties of the space of bounded linear operators The space of all bounded linear operators from U to V is denoted by B U, v and is a normed vector space. If V is Banach, then so is B U, v, from which it follows that dual spaces are Banach. For any A in B U, v, the kernel of A is a closed linear subspace of U. If B U, v is Banach and U is non-trivial, then V is Banach. Topic: <laughs> Topological vector spaces. The boundedness condition for linear operators on normed spaces can be restated. An operator is bounded if it takes every bounded set to a bounded set, and here is meant the more general condition of boundedness for sets in a topological vector space TVS. .A set is bounded if and only if it is absorbed by every neighborhood of zero. Note that the two notions of boundedness coincide for locally convex spaces. This formulation allows one to define bounded operators between general topological vector spaces as an operator which takes bounded sets to bounded sets. In this context, it is still true that every continuous map is bounded, however the converse fails, a bounded operator need not be continuous. Clearly, this also means that boundedness is no longer equivalent to Lipschitz continuity in this context. A converse does hold when the domain is pseudometrizable, a case which includes Fréchet spaces. For LF spaces, a weaker converse holds, any bounded linear map from an LF space is sequentially continuous. See also Operator algebra Operator theory Unbounded operator